hi loves and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time so stopping by please subscribe so love today i want to show you how to make bitter leaf soup these are the ingredients i have i have bitter leaf i have cocoa yam this is the packaged one if you are anywhere you can get the fresh one you can as well use use it so i've got pepper i've got to take pepper the yellow pepper and the red pepper got the fish I have stock fish and dry fish as well. I have red oil. I've got meat. This is cow ribs. You guys, it's better to cook bitter leaf with cow ribs than cow beef. So I've got the intestines. I think they call this one shocking. <laughs> I really do not know. <laughs> so I've got seasoning cubes. Yeah, I love that. I've got this one, I don't know if it's look at the same as the cost bean. I don't know. I've got Ogilibo. So, you see me in a pot. I'm going to pour all my meat. I think these two meat take about the same time to cook. Yeah. So, I added seasoning cubes. And I want to, I want to, to add salt as well. And start cooking. Please don't add onion. I know a lot of people like to use onion while cooking. While cooking. But please don't add onion to the leaf. It's going to make it taste so bad. So as it's cooking, I'm going to wash and debone my fish. Please take your time to remove the bones <laughs> from your fish. Guys, please remember, if you have not subscribed, please sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour extra water to everything, to the fish. And I added salt, you guys. You know, salt actually helps to remove sand from my fish. So I just went ahead and added salt. Yeah. I'm going to wash everything. Here I poured hot water in my stock fish just to soften it a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to pour another extra water and set that aside. I'm going to wash my peppers and crayfish and pour everything in my blender to blend and blend please wash and wash everything that you are using to cook to avoid sand you guys <laughs> so i'm just going to pour my crayfish as well if you like you can wash your crayfish if you feel it's stuffy or if you feel it's clean you can just go ahead and pour it like that I just love to take my time to wash and remove all the sand. <laughs> See those things, those things that disgust me. So I just want to highlight and remove everything. Yeah. So I'm going to add my yogi in. So. I'm just going to pieces that so it will blend well because sometimes it when you finish cooking you can still see the, the lumps I don't, I don't really like that so I just love to pieces everything to enable my blender to do a better job <laughs> when you're using a mortar maybe it might, you don't need to pieces it So I'm going, I'm just going to add everything. Yeah. Then I'll cover and blend with you. Now I'll cover my blender and I will blend everything. I will not blend it too smoothly, I will just blend it smooth but not too smooth, yeah. So here I'm just removing my starfish from the hot water. I think it's still can enough. So in a place, I just open, unpack, unpack my cocoa and pour everything inside the plate. Then please mix it into a thin, a thin layer of, um, of paste. Don't make it too, too sticky. You just make it into a thin layer just like the way you make pancakes not the fluffy yeah just like the way you make pancakes 
but it should actually be lighter than pancake just need everything okay. so I just I'm just going to check my meat the cow ribs I need to cook in before before the cow intestines oh my god this is so disturbing so you see me removing the cow ribs on the pot <laughs> yes I think on the on the, um, the pressure cooker they take about the same time sometimes they take about the same time to cook but I think the cow skin I've got today is really not the type I used to get before so I'm just going to cook the other one cook it for a certain minutes and it's cool I'm just going to check to see if it's well cooked I use knife and yes it's really well cooked because it's piercing through my knife <laughs> so it's well cooked so I'm just going to add the cow ribs that we, that we removed earlier yes because this other one is already well cooked so yeah. I'll add cow ribs then I'm going to add my stock fish as well this is like the, I've started the main process of cooking this soup this is where the journey of the soup begins <laughs> so I just added my, my stock fish today. And note that I added extra water because I noticed that the water, the meat stock was really small, so I added about two cups of water. So I'm going to add yogi ribo. You guys, what is what is bitter leaf soup without ogi? <laughs> right? It's like ogi is the main day when cooking bitter leaf soup. I mean, it helps to bring out that sweet aroma for me, right? <laughs> so we sure to have to add this is the packaged one, but anything is something Abby so I'm just going to pour my pepper the reason I, the reason why I love to mix my pepper the, the red and the yellow ones is because this yellow pepper has a lot of uh, aroma and it also has add color just look like I've added oil but I didn't really add any oil so stir everything I added seasoning cubes I added extra seasoning cubes because I had to slot too I just want to boil the meat I'm going to use this one to cook this, this, this soup. Don't worry, everything is going to melt soon. I really have the hand to be ready because this is the one that's easy. So I just change into my cooking my soup um, spoon <laughs> and allow it to boil. Once it's really cook for 10 minutes, I open the pot and I'm going to pour my cocoa yam the way you see me doing. Yeah, just like this. So just rinse everything so you don't waste nothing. <laughs> rinse everything with your cocoa yam and just add everything. Please stop, don't waste anything. <laughs> So after adding your cocoa yam, I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook. I cook for five minutes, you guys. So yeah, it's extra five minutes. Just look at that, it's so beautiful. I use this method to cook sometimes vegetable soup and salad soup. This method is so simple and so convenient, you guys. So, I'm just going to add my fish. I didn't add the fish earlier because the fish is already kind of soft, you know. I don't really want it to be too soft, I still want it to be seen. I still want to have a strap crunch, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, I went ahead and added oil. At this point, the, the, the soup is basically good, so 
I want to add an added oil. Just stir that baby together. <laughs> stir it. Just turn it around like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Just look at it, it's already so beautiful and the aroma is so heavenly, I mean divine. <laughs> wow, oh my god, just look at that, look at that color, oh, it's so, so sweet. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and add my bitter leaf, yeah. There's a simple trick I use, after adding my bitter leaf, I don't go ahead to cover it, I just leave it to cook for two minutes, then I'll cover my pot. And allow it to simmer for a short two minutes and I remove the pot, the cover and I just turn the soup around and it's basically cooked and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you love this video if you do please like subscribe and please comment down whatever you think in the comment section I love you all so much seasonal greetings to you all bye I'll see you next time mm -hmm.